Projected Images 6. Thank you for inviting me to judge at Devonport Camera Club. I apologise for not being able to attend your meeting in person. The quality of images in both categories was very good. However, as always, there were some amazing standout images which stole the show. Congratulations to the makers of the awarded images. Your images were a delight to judge. As a judge, I try not to focus on the faults in an image, and wherever possible, I try to offer advice or solutions to some of the problems I see. It is entirely up to you if you choose to take the advice or not. However, I find it is always worth trying a suggested improvement just to see what you think. You may not like the result and totally disregard it, or you might be pleasantly surprised. I know when I enter one of my own images for critique, I can be a bit miffed if someone tells me how to improve it. But I will also try what the judge suggests. That is how we learn. The placing options I was given to judge this competition ranged from not accepted to honours. As it was explained to me, honours was something special and not accepted was not necessarily a bad image, rather an image that can be improved upon and resubmitted to another competition in the future. That is the definition I have based my scoring on. So if you have scored a non-accepted, it is because I believe your image is definitely competition worthy and I would like to encourage you to reprocess it and resubmit it again at a later date. I have supplied a quick presentation of some of my images. I hope you enjoy it and don't find it too repetitive. If you have any feedback or questions on my comment, please talk to Eric and he can forward them to me and I will be happy to answer. Thanks again for inviting me to judge your images. Jenny Tanner. Mount Anne. Now this is a gorgeous scene, but it's very crooked. I feel like the water is heading downhill. Exposure and composition are good. There is so much detail in the scene and it's sharp from front to back. This image is too beautiful to throw away, so try rotating the scene to make the horizon straight. You may lose a little of the scene around the edges, but the Content Aware Crop Tool in Photoshop may be able to help with that. Not accepted. Among the Camellias. I love these New Holland honey eaters. They are always happy to sit and pose. They look great in both colour and black and white too. I like the dark background. It really sets off the vibrant pops of colour. An acceptance. Colour in the night. Interesting subject matter. I don't think I've ever seen such vibrant public toilets. The colours are amazing and the exposure has been handled well. I like the composition with the paths leading into the buildings. Well seen and acceptance. Delicious pear. Beautiful, rich, complementary colours. Excellent reflections too. The composition is good and the scene is very sharp throughout. The square crop works well too. Nice work and acceptance. Electric waves. I've seen a few of this type of image on the internet recently. I have found them quite mesmerising. This one is no exception. I have no idea how this image was made, but I love the vibrant result. The composition works, as do the colours. Have you thought of cleaning up some of the yellow dots? Either way, I love it. An acceptance. Evening light on the bay. This is a very pleasant composition. The diagonal line of the water leads us through the scene nicely. The detail of the rocks and grasses in the foreground adds interest. The golden hour light is lovely. Perhaps you could try and brighten up the grasses in the foreground to add a little bit more pop. An acceptance. Farmhouse. I love these old cottages. It's a shame to see them fall apart due to neglect. I love the inquisitiveness of the cows peeking out above the hedgerow. Their colours are echoed in the rustiness of the roof. The mist adds a lot to this scene. It's almost like a white vignette drawing us into the cottage. 
very well seen, an acceptance. Flame Robin. I admire anyone who can capture a flitty little robin. I certainly don't have the patience. I like the classic composition of this scene with the bird perched on a diagonal branch with plenty of room to breathe. The smooth background helps the robin stand out with his amazing red breast. Focus is not good, unfortunately. The main focal point of the eye is very soft. An acceptance. Floating softly. This is quite a pretty setup. The flowers are sharp and work well in a grouping of three. Compositionally, I think the scene would work better with the row of flowers lower in the frame. Try cropping the bottom of the frame right up to the edge of the reflection and even add a little to the top. It would make a stunning black and white too. Nice work and acceptance. Glass House Mountains. The Glass House Mountains are a really diverse cluster of mountains I'd love to capture. Sadly, every time I have visited them, it's been pouring with rain. I like the point of view you've chosen and the golden light is lovely. You have a few halos creeping in around the mountains. Either pull back on your processing or try using a mask to reduce the risk of halos. Otherwise, a lovely image. An acceptance. Godwit's taking off. Nice capture here. You've really frozen the takeoff nicely. The image is sharp throughout and exposure has been handled well. There are one or two telltale processing glitches around the wings, but if you fix those, this is a really lovely image. An acceptance. Golden glow of the Cradle Valley. This is a beautiful golden scene. The water leading the eye into the scene on the diagonal makes the scene quite dynamic. The reflections in the water really add something special. There are a lot of artefacts in both the water and the sky, most likely from the process you have used to resize the image or from cropping in too close maybe. There are many ways to resize an image, some much better than others. Try a few and see what you think. An acceptance. Moonlight Golf. I love the composition in this scene. Placement of both the moon and the lighthouse are spot on. The soft grasses in the foreground really add a sense of movement. The scene has a bluish cast. I'm not sure if this is due to the available light or if it was an artistic choice. Either way, I think it adds an ethereal feel to the scene. Nice work and acceptance. Mount Gerion in winter. More gorgeous scenery. I love the Pandani. It's so different to anything else in the Australian landscape. I like the way you've framed the rock face in the background with more Pandani dotted around the scene leading us in. A lovely landscape. An acceptance. Paranapple. This is very intriguing. Is it lighting on the building or was the effect achieved in processing? The blue is very vibrant, almost blown out. The red is quite vibrant too. It's fun to experiment. Keep it up. I think you've made something eye-catching here. An acceptance. Pass to port. This is a lovely, smooth, long exposure of a well-photographed scene. The long exposure really brings out the colour along the horizon. The light hitting the pier buildings and the beacon is lovely too. It's a shame the reflection of the beacon isn't a little stronger. It would have reduced the illusion the beacon is floating. Otherwise it's lovely. An acceptance. Railway Station Dunedin. I like the point of view you've chosen here. It draws our eye into the scene and makes the most of the repeating lines and arches. There is so much intricate detail in the bricks and mortar. They don't make buildings like this anymore. Well seen. An acceptance. Red on green. Great colour contrast here. The buds stand out nicely against the leaves. They are quite sharp throughout with just a little fall off on the right. The red edge around the leaf gives the feeling that it is cradling the buds. The side lighting adds shadows and definition to the scene. An acceptance. Scandinavian Splendour. This is a beautiful old building. I love the stonework. The two trees on either side frame the scene nicely and allows the cross to take centre place. Exposure is good 
you've captured the shadows and highlights nicely. And acceptance. Smoking industry. I like the close crop on this scene. It shows us everything we need and removes all other distractions. The soft colour palette works well. The repeating funnels of smoke are well defined and leave us no doubt that they are the main subject in this scene. A very thought provoking image, well seen, and acceptance. The crossing. Someone's being very adventurous. Capturing the subject in mid step has added a sense of movement and even a sense of caution. She looks like she's picking her next step carefully. The red t shirt really pops against the green background. You couldn't have asked for it better. An acceptance. Ukraine. The diagonal placement of the laneway makes this a fairly dynamic scene. The bluestone cobbles draw us up the lane to the figures in the background, but I'm not getting the story. Technically, it has been well handled, but I think it needs something more. An acceptance. Winter harvest. You have a great collection of autumn goodies here. The colours work well together to create the scene and give us a real sense of autumn against the rustic background. The angle of the scene is a bit disconcerting. It doesn't feel quite right. Try getting a full overhead shot if you can. You could even consider placing your objects on the ground if you can't get high enough. Another good angle is to try to place the subjects on a table and get lower and shoot across the table. You can do this sitting down. Have a play and see what you can come up with. You're on the right track. An acceptance. A light at the end of the tunnel. I like the central placement of the lighthouse in this scene. There is a very fine line of red along the left hand edge, which really adds to the scene. I like the shoot through the trees on the left they frame the lighthouse nicely. The little tuft of tree near the top right is distracting and would be easy to remove. A lovely image. Highly commended. Beautiful fire tail. Finches are such pretty birds. The patterns on their feathers are so intricate. I like the placement of the bird in the frame. He almost looks like he's looking at us. The colour saturation in the grasses, especially behind the finch, are a bit too vibrant. Try lowering the saturation in these areas and allowing the bird to be the pop of colour. You could even add a subtle vignette in the background to further draw our eye into this stunning subject. Just a suggestion. Highly commended. Brown Falcon. This is a gorgeous image, though somewhat underexposed. The falcon is amazing. He's sharp and full of hidden detail, just waiting to be shown. I love the placement of the bird and the branch. It allows the bird room to look into without crowding the scene. Have a go at increasing the exposure overall and then adding a soft vignette to finish off. I'd love to see it again once you've corrected it. Well done. Highly commended. Sunset landing. Fabulous sky. The clouds and colours are amazing. They form a natural frame around the main subject. Placement of the helicopter in the scene is good. You've captured a slight amount of movement in the front rotors to help us feel the movement. The black silhouette against such a vibrant sky is very dramatic. Highly commended. What a hoot. The face of this owl is very sharp. The detail is very good. The shallow depth of field has made the body and wings of the owl a lot softer, but you've done well to capture the motion. I love the light highlighting the edges of the wings. It adds something special to the scene. Highly commended. Be on salvia. Bees always look great hovering over a purple flower. The complementary colours work well together. Both the bee and the flower are super sharp in this image. You've frozen the action and caught all of the iridescent detail on the wings. Well done. Merit. Fungi. One of the highlights of my trips to Tassie is photographing the many different Mycenae species you have. We do get them in Victoria, but not in the amazing variety of colours you have. This image has been handled extremely well. A closer crop might improve the composition, 
crop up to the branch and down on the top to place the far right subject on the top third lines and see what you think. Beautiful capture, well done, merit. Port Phillip Bay. Simplicity at its finest. Everything works in this image. Exposure is good, composition is excellent, contrast is good, and the little pop of yellow finishes it all off. Well done, merit. Jackal Kenya. What a magnificent animal. He blends well into his surroundings to aid his camouflage, but he stands out well enough in this image. He is very sharp and his pose is powerful. The side light helps to provide definition and brings out lots of detail in the fur. A beautiful capture. Well done. Honours. Pickford's Tarn with Rainbow. Is Cradle Mountain the most beautiful place in the world? I think so. This scene is stunning. I like the vibrant colours and the rainbow is magic. Composition is good and balances the scene nicely. You've done a wonderful job here. Well done. Honours. Swallow feeding. What a gorgeous shot. This image really tells a story. The subjects are pin sharp and the details are excellent throughout. The smooth creamy background makes the birds pop out from the background. A wonderful image. Great work. Honours. High and dry. There is some lovely detail in this image. Exposure and contrast have been handled well and the image is sharp throughout. I struggled with the composition. The focal point is not clear. No acceptance. Lavender Farm. I like the curving lines in the foreground. They lead us nicely to the hills in the background. The side light is creating excellent shadows and enhancing the texture of the lavender rose. I'm not sure about the blobs of light on the hills. They don't look quite right. The clouds are amazing. No acceptance. Platypus. Wow. I've never had the opportunity to see a platypus in the wild. You must be over the moon. The diagonal placement of the platypus in the scene is very dynamic. There are a lot of artefacts in the image, possibly because you have cropped in a bit too close. Overall, the exposure is very dark and there is not much definition between the water and the platypus. There is still a lot of detail in the platypus and it's quite sharp. I wouldn't give up on this image. I would process it again and see if you can improve the outcome. Don't be afraid to ask for advice. That's what camera clubs are for. You have a great eye for composition and capturing nature. No acceptance. Bass straight at rest. Exposure, contrast and composition have been handled well in this image. I like the point of view, which allows us to see down into the shallows in the foreground. The texture and detail in the rocks is lovely. The horizon is a little bit off, but that's a quick fix. Well done, and acceptance. Foggy Gorge. This is a very moody scene. It works well in black and white. There are some darker areas in the foreground and bushes that I think would benefit from being a bit brighter. There is a lot of detail hidden away in there. I love the subtle reflections in the water. They add a little something extra. And acceptance. Panthea. This image works very well as a mono. The contrast on the insect is good and really brings out the detail of his markings. The depth of field is shallow and makes nailing the focus tricky. In this instance, the focus seems to be sharper on the back and not on the front of the head, where it really needs to be. An acceptance. Serene beauty. Another image with lovely side light. Without the light highlighting the outline, the swan would have faded into the background. There is so much detail in the feathers too. Nice capture and acceptance. Snooze in the sun. I like the black and white treatment in this image. You have a good range of tones. Detail and texture are good too. The subject looks nice and comfy. Nice work and acceptance. Tree of Love. We have some amazing laneways here in Melbourne, which are always worth a visit. 
they are constantly being updated and painted over with new art so it makes sense to document them. There are several schools of thought when it comes to photographing other people's art, i.e. street art, graffiti and even statues and sculpture. As a documentary process, it is accepted, but as a form of art, it is not. It's a bit of a rabbit warren, really. Definitely something to consider when entering your images into competitions. I think this image is documenting the wall, and the maker has captured it well. The scene works well as a black and white. An acceptance. Walking past. Great leading lines in this scene. There is so much interest in the foreground rocks with the texture and the water-filled holes. I can't help wondering how much better this image would be if you had have waited for the subject to take a couple more steps into the clear area. He would have popped out instead of being obscured by the rocks. It's always easy to make these comments after the fact. An acceptance. Fungi family. The painterly feel in this image is lovely. The subtle gradients in the fungi really bring out the sharp detail, especially in the fins on the underside. You could consider cropping a little off the top and right side to better balance the composition. Nice work. Highly commended. No vertigo. Well, this is interesting. I like the point of view. Our eye follows the framework from top right down to the bottom of the pit. There are a good range of tones from dark to light. Very well seen. Highly commended. The rocks. This is a lovely contrasty scene. You wouldn't get this same amount of punch with a colour image. The movement in the foreground water is wonderful. There are a few halos around the sea stacks, but otherwise the image has been well handled. Highly commended. Where are you? The composition is spot on in this scene. The bird is looking right into the camera and the rocks adds context to the scene. Exposure has been handled well with no loss of detail in the white feathers. A subtle vignette in the water would help keep our eye on the bird. A lovely image, well done, highly commended. The Art of Coffee. This scene works well as a mono. Removing distraction of colour keeps our eye focused on the brighter parts of the image. You could consider darkening the brighter subject standing behind the main subject, but don't go too far. I love the documentary feel. The subject is focused on the task at hand. The scene really tells a story. Merit. Cityscape. This image has a lovely range of tones. At first glance, it looks a bit busy, but once you work your way around the image, you really appreciate how each element works within the scene. I love the light catching the leaves on the tree to the left and the fine branches tracing over the blank white sky add extra interest. Beautiful image. Honours. Follow the leader. I love the beautiful side light in this image. It really brings out the detail and texture in the elephant's skin. Composition is good with the elephants moving through the scene on a slight diagonal. Beautiful work. Honours.